Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven-day week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 305 of our trek, and yesterday we compared and contrasted the trails of popularity or success with the integrity trail. We did determine that indeed it is possible to have both and not compromise your integrity. Today we will hike the power trail called Patience. This is a difficult trail for all of us, but it is so important that we do conquer it properly. Thank you so much for coming along with me each day as we explore and consume these nuggets of wisdom. These bits of wisdom will help us to live the rich and satisfying life while creating our living legacy. While some of our daily treks are a multi-part series, you can join us at any time and start along with us from that point on. If you would like to listen to any of the past episodes, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read the daily journal. You can also subscribe to Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Google Play so that each day's treks will be downloaded to you automatically. We are recording our podcast from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. As we look at the client workload that needs completed over the next few months and some of the projects that we would like to implement, I have to admit that I do become impatient waiting at times. I would like to accomplish all of these tasks in a much shorter time period than our available time allows. As I have matured and become wiser, I realize that there is no need to rush and that everything that needs to be accomplished will be in its own time. I do take encouragement from the practical advice found in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11. Yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human hearts, but even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So let's head out today as we navigate the difficult trail and discover the power of patience. To quote an old proverb, you can't unring a bell. Let me ask you this question. Do you act on impulse and then do damage control? Or do you manage how you ring that bell? When you practice being patient, you will recognize the benefits immediately, both to those that you impact and to yourself. Patience does not always mean inaction. It shows your ability to make wise, well-thought-out decisions on a timely basis, especially when it involves dealing with others. You are always being watched for your actions and reactions in life. Patience is considered a virtue, but most people don't feel that they have the high moral standards and unwavering maturity required for patience. We need to understand that impatience can lead to poor behavior, anger, and intolerance, which are character traits that are not really desirable in our lives. So how do we learn the power and the practice of patience? How can we manage our feelings and recognize triggers that lead to impatience? First, we want to look at the signs of impatience. One of the greatest and most difficult skills that I have learned to develop is the power of patience. It has helped me personally and professionally more than any courses that I have ever taken. The people that have had the most positive impacts on our lives were patient people who took time to explain concepts, to teach us, and to care for us. The result of learning this important skill is that it can help you to develop every relationship in your life, both personal and professional. All of us are leaders in some aspects of life, and as a leader, you must be decisive, but show patience when necessary. You will need to know when to be patient and when to take immediate action. In both instances, how you behave is critical to the outcome. We have all seen signs of impatience. You can see it in someone's eyes, their actions, and what they say. There are also key triggers that create poor behavior in those who lose their patience easily. So how do you know when you're becoming impatient? Well, you'll probably experience one or more of the following symptoms. Erratic breathing patterns, tension, restlessness, anger, irritability, anxiety, and nervousness. It is also evident when you become susceptible to making quick, knee-jerk, snap decisions, which are manifested in poor decision-making and poor results. So what is the purpose of building patient abilities? It boils down to setting proper expectations for ourselves, which results in personal happiness. This includes the peace of mind, better relationships, and more success. It's well worth the effort, I would say, but it does take effort. There is certainly power in being patient, though, as Proverbs chapter 16.32 tells us, Better to be patient than powerful. Better to have self-control than conquer a city. And also in Proverbs chapter 25 verse 15, Patience can persuade a prince, and soft speech can break bones. So how do you manage impatience? Consider that while you're acting impatient, those around you see this. Is this the type of character trait that you desire to pass on as part of your living legacy each day? Those that you impact learn their behavior from observing you, which is not beneficial when they see the results of your impatience. 
When we do sort out all of the excuses of why we're impatient, it all boils down to one factor, and in a word, that's selfishness. We believe that our desires are more important than other people or situations. Patience can be manifested in all areas of life. Here are some beneficial examples from Scripture about manifested patience. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowances for each other's fault because of your love. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36, Patient endurance is what you need now, so that you will continue to do God's will. Then you will receive all that He has promised. And patience is also one of the attributes of a mature Christian life mentioned in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace... Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. So the question you may be thinking, are there ever reasons or situations where you should not be patient? Yes, there are, especially if somebody is being harmed or there is potential danger to life or limb. However, how you act makes all the difference when dealing with others. You should never lose your patience and get angry, abusive, pushy, or intolerant. I know that this sounds easy in theory, and it is incredibly difficult to put into practice, but it can be done. We are driven by our emotions, and at times impulsive, so we need to learn to practice patience. Patience is a learned skill, and only with practice will we develop the skills to cope with other people and situations. You need to realize and understand that you may never unravel why or how you feel about something, but be willing to acknowledge your triggers toward impatience. Understand the signs of impatience and develop ways to work through them and to manage them. Since you cannot change others, work on your own behavior. Practice patience and it will result in making positive impact and becoming part of your legacy that you're living each day. Remember, you cannot unring a bell. So long our check for today, we learned just how powerful patience really is. When we are patient, we will have a more effective and positive impact than when we are impatient. Patience should become the integral part of the legacy that we're living each day. I do have a downloadable PDF guide called The 5 Steps to Becoming More Patient available at wisdom-trek.com forward slash resources that will walk you through the process on how to be more patient. Tomorrow we will hike the trail of living your dreams. So encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our podcast for today. Just as you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom yourself, we ask you to help us to grow Wisdom Trek by sharing it with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person when you meet with them and invite them to come along with us each day. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, you are my friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly. Love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.